Hey everyone, Michael from Xano here. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover one of the object functions, which is get keys. So get keys, as the name might sound intuitively, will take in an object and extract all of the keys from that object and put it in an array or a list. So let's first look at my function stack here and let's understand the structure of an object before we dive into this function. So here on my screen, I'm just getting a single record from my products table because this will give me just a single object, which is what we want to work with. So if I go ahead and hit run here, you can see I get this products object, right? There is ID one created at a timestamp, etc. So objects come in key value pairs. So here in yellow are all my keys, right? There's ID created at name, description, price, quantity. So all of these keys have a value associated with it. Okay, that's things like coffee mug and 7.99 and 50. Okay, so this get keys object function is going to take everything in yellow here, so all the keys, and put it in a list. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go to my function stack, go to data manipulation, and second from the bottom here is objects, and the get keys function is right here at the top. So when we go ahead and add this, you'll see it'll first ask for an object. So this is going to come typically from my function stack, could come from an input, but I'm just going to hit the drop down and grab that products one variable. Remember, because that is just a single object. And the name here, I'll just go ahead and name it keys. I'll hit save. Let me go ahead and just update my response. So we're returning keys. And when I go ahead and run this now, what we'll see is we'll see this nice list or array of all of my keys, right? There's created at, ID, name, description, price, etc. Okay, so getting the keys can be handy for different use cases, um, especially if we need to recreate object structures or even create uh, CSV files. You'll see this function uh, in that snippet there as well. So one thing to keep in mind too is just in case you're working uh, with a list, and I didn't, I meant to just hide this, but let me go ahead and add a new function stack here. And I'll do a query all records from products, right? So if I'm querying records from products and I go ahead and put in, well, it's still products one here. Now this is a list instead of a single object. So what we're going to see is now these numbers, right? What are these? These are just an index of each object. That's because we are dealing with a list. But what's more telling is obviously when we look at a single object. So here, instead of products underscore one, because we know that's a list of all my products, I could actually just do dot notation here and just get the first index or really any index because they're all going to be the same in this case because they're all coming from the same table. And if I just run this now, you can see, well, there is our list of the keys we want. So hopefully that's helpful. You can combine this get keys uh, function with some of the other object functions in the right use cases. Uh, but hopefully this is a little more insightful into how to use this function.